Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Lucas and this is the Lucas Yarns YouTube channel where we talk about all things yarn and yarn crafts. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Uh, I am in the throes of the summer crochet. I, maybe it's a funk, I don't know. I'm doing some things, but I'm not really like into it right now. I think I'm in that final, like, mid to late summer push to do all the things outside before the end of the summer season goes. So I have not had a lot of progress. But today, today, I'm so excited, you guys. My Mary Maxim Crochet Mystery Kit finally came in for the month of July, and I'm going to show it to you today. So what you, I mean, you might not know what this is. So Mary Maxim is a website you can, they're, they're a, a yarn store, an online shop. I, they, they maybe have something in uh physical locations they might have I, I don't know but i only know them as an online store anyway they're one of these online retailers that sell hobby things and yarn is a big part of that they have a knitting and crochet monthly mystery kit um you choose the knitting one or the crochet one they send it to you every month you have everything you need for a specific project they choose the project and the yarn to go with it I'm going to show you the first couple of ones that I have, friends, before we open the one that came in for July. Because I don't I don't know what's in it. Um, friend of the channel, Amy, <laughs> has uh, graciously not given me any spoilers for this, this particular month. Um, and we'll talk about that in a few seconds here. So, um, that being said, let's dive right in. Sorry about the jump cut there, but I remembered right before I, I picked this, the first mystery kit up that I received that I needed to take a picture for the thumbnail. So that's done. Anyway, so the very first kit that I received from Mary Maxim is a kit for this tote bag. It's a crocheted textured tote bag. Um, let me take the pattern out of here. Sorry for the noise. They all come in these zippered um, vinyl bags, which are very, very handy. So that's a little bit easier for you to see the uh, the textured tote there. Um, and it does come with all of the yarn that you need to make this project in the bag. So they choose the pattern. They send you the yarn. I think it's like $20 a month, including shipping. Um, something like that. Maybe like $22, $24. I don't know the exact dollar amount. Your, your evidence may vary just depending on your currency and, and where you're shipping it to. But anyway... Uh, so this was the first one I received. I was pretty pleased about that. Haven't made this particular project yet because I might give these away. I think they make cool gifts um, and cool giveaways. So uh, that's the first one I received. I was quite pleased with it, right? Let me put that over here on the, the bed of holding. The second one that we received is for a set of stroller blankets. You can see the little pattern of the little lovey and the, the the two different blanket patterns, two different hat patterns. Super cute, right? Super cute. Uh, and yes, it includes the yarn for you to make. I believe this one was a blanket in a lovey or a blanket in a hat, but not both. Just looking at the amount of yarn they sent in this particular bag. Uh, but that was the second one. I was very pleased with that as well. I was like, there's going to be a baby in life eventually. So not in my life specifically, but in my vicinity around, around me, somebody's going to have a baby. Maybe I'll save this one to, um, to use as a gift for that baby whenever it comes in. I don't know. I don't know what's going to do these, but that's the second one. The third one that I got, and a lot of people echoed this thought was what, what is that? Let me, let me, let me just tell you, let me just tell you. Okay. So this one almost had me cancel the kit. This is another bag. It's a crossbody bag. All right. You see how, see how that yarn looks a little weird. It's not yarn. That's not yarn friends. It is lion brand home cording, which is, what is this? A cotton polyester blend. Um, it feels very odd, but it's cording. It's not really yarn. And 
couldn't tell from the pattern. No, there's there's two different bags here. No, I'm sorry. There's there's one bag pattern, but they included extra yarn for you to make um a different version of the bag if you didn't like the cording. They knew it was going to be controversial. Um this one I almost canceled my kit with this one. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it because it's not the money, right? Maybe I switch over to the knitting one for a couple months and see what that is. I'm going to fool with that later. I just got off work and everything is all frazzled right now. <laughs> we'll fool with that later. So I don't know what's going to happen in this July kit. If I like this July kit, I might keep it for another month and then switch over to the knit one. I think it might be nice to have six crochet and six knit kits. We'll see what happens. But the July one finally came in. We're going to open it together because I legitimately don't know what this is. Or what it could be. Let me get my trusty scissors here. Now, I have been sitting on this for a couple of days. I was going to record last night. Last night being the 30th of July. But some storms rolled through. And I didn't want to chance damaging any of my equipment or anything. So I just unplugged everything and, and watched TV for a while. I didn't do anything last night. But... Here we go. Here we go. Yes, I have marked off the entirety of the, the front of the package because my post office writes your address in Sharpie on every package you get. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, you're about to see my first reaction. There's a box in here. An actual box. Oh. All right, the pattern is for the crochet pin cushion set, set of six. I wonder if we can make all six using this kit. I believe so. I believe so. Based on what I see in here. And the yarn, how cool. I have not seen these. Okay, let me open up this pattern so that we can see the different um pin cushions we can make with this set there's the these here which are more of your standard traditional pin cushions and you've got one that's actually a spool of thread what well, looks to be like armadillo and uh, armadillo yeah uh, i'm southern what do you want from me uh, <laughs> at least it's not an armadillo cake um uh, is it red inside i don't we could make it red anyway i'm all over the place and the little sunflower i need Anyway, uh, so all I'm going to tell you, friends, it's end of month, it's billing season, and I control billing for the entire company. And it, it's okay. So, pin cushions are those so cute? I love it. I love, I okay, okay, I'm on board, I'm on board. I'm aboard. Let's look at the yarn. Let's look at the yarn. It's mandala craft cakes. These little mini cakes of yarn. What are we? What? 88 yards for these little mini cakes. I've never seen little mini cakes like this before. They, listen, they lost a perfect opportunity to call these cupcakes. Mandala cupcakes. That was a little, that, that one's squished. It has a little heart. <laughs> and then you have eight of them in this box. There's so much yarn that they, that they sent for this. How cool is that? How stinking cool is that? Okay. I am intrigued. I am intrigued. I don't know if I'm going to keep the kit. Or if I'm going to give this one away. But I've never seen these cakes before. 
I'm gonna keep looking at them here. You can you can look at this one. A little actually, this one is a better heart than the other than the other one. You can look at those. It is 100 percent acrylic. It's a three-weight yarn, 88 yards per cake, 1.2 ounces, 35 grams. Calls for a four millimeter knitting needle, four millimeter crochet hook. How cute are these? How cute are these? I love them. Um Okay. Okay. I still think I might switch to the knitting kit or I might add the knitting kit for a few months to see what the knitting does cuz I've I've seen the crochet kits now. And I can see what they're doing with these patterns. Fascinating. I need to look and see how these are created. I don't know if you can see in the armadillo, those little like pearl looking dots. Those are the pins. Those are the, the pearl head pins in the pin cushion. That's so cute. It's adorable. I want seven of them, but I want to also color the stuffing red. I don't know why that's uh, listen. I watched steel magnolias over the weekend. That's all I'm going to tell you. Uh, <laughs> I have been craving cake all week, and it's only Tuesday. When it's Wednesday, that's a perfectly good way to ruin Thursday. Anyway, it is Wednesday. That is a great little kit. Great little kit. What do you think? What do you think? Would you would you make these, or would you make something else with them? Let me know in the comments. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it there for today. Um, like I mentioned, I'm in a little bit of a crochet funk. I have not really felt inspired to do much of anything at all um, the last couple of days. And that's okay, because it comes and goes, friends. It comes and goes. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll make one of these, and I'll just be right back in there. I don't know. I don't know. But a break is good every once in a while, too. So if you need a break, take a break. I, for one, um... I'm probably going to go take a nap. <laughs> it's been a day all day. It depends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Uh, let me know in the comments what's going on with you and what's happening in your end of the world. Are you part of a, a crochet kit every month? Let me know. I'd love to try out other ones, see what else is out there. Um, do you have a knitting kit? Are, are you a member of any of these subscription services? Let, let me know. Let me know. I would love to try some new stuff out uh, and see how that goes. So anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you've had a great day i hope you have a great week and i'll see you in the next one happy stitching <laughs>